Almies have a certain mystique about them. They can be dark and foreboding. They can be gentrified in gentrified neighborhoods. They can lead you to hidden gem restaurants. They can be unlit, narrow passageways where people go to make drug deals. They can be where someone drags you to beat the crap out of you. In short, they can be pleasant, scary, or just plain disgusting. And they can be bad for business. This is the story of an alley transformation that turned an alley nicknamed Urine Alley into a tourist attraction. Hello, I'm uh, Brian Harker, and I own uh, Harker Board Co. here in La Paz, Baja California Sur. And this alley where we, we bought our property was called uh, Callejón Miado, and it was Urine Alley in English. And it was this dark side street that nobody wanted to go down other than to go to the, go to the bathroom. We installed some lighting initially. By then I had seen a couple of murals in the city and I started to investigate and find out who was uh, doing the paintings. So I got in contact with a couple artists and I hired them to paint uh, a couple of murals on, on the walls going up the side street. Here in the last couple of years, uh, La Paz has been growing a little bit. The, this little callejón, the, in, in, in Spanish, a callejón is uh, an alley street. So this alley street here has kind of become a little tourist attraction. And they actually have a, a little uh, bus tour and one of those little Toyota passenger vans uh, where they stop here and they tell people about these murals and they have a bicycle tour where they do the same thing and then they also have a walking tour where they go throughout the city and this is their first stop actually to, to start the tour for the murals. There's always somebody taking pictures. So even in the middle of the morning, sometimes at 2 a.m. we'll wake up and we're, we'll hear a car parked outside and they're taking pictures of, of the mural. La Paz attracts people like Brian. That's partly what makes La Paz such a great place to live, the people who choose to call this home. And hey, the weather doesn't suck either.